Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if I'm feeling a little froggy, uh, just feeling a little bit under the weather here in August. It's really weird to get a cold. I usually don't get sick, but uh, anyways, my voice doesn't sound right in my head, so I don't know how it sounds on camera. But uh, before I begin the video, uh, I want to give some shout outs to some people who sent me some things in my P.O. box. And if you don't remember, giving away a $100 gift card this month through August 31st. Anybody who sends anything to my P.O. box. So big shout outs to Ben Norwood from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Thank you for this excess energy drink. I've had these before, they're really good. If you drink this stuff, uh, get it from Ben because he sells this stuff. It's right there on the screen. Karen and Farmer Bill, thank you so much for the card uh, from, I can't pronounce it, Illinois. Daniel Cardona from Georgia, thank you so much for the letter. And Humberto from California, again, another town I cannot pronounce. And Mr. Robert Sneed from North Carolina. Thank you guys so much for the awesome mail in the P.O. box. So one morning I woke up like four o'clock in the morning and um, I had this idea that I was probably dreaming about. Why I dream about work, I have no idea. So to the right of me, Brand new 2019 Silverado High Country to the left of me, uh, the old body style of 2018 Silverado. Chevrolet states that they have dropped 450 pounds of weight between this truck and this truck. Now let me tell you something, I have driven this truck for about 150 to 200 miles now and the new 5.3 liter engine, wow, absolutely amazing. I think this truck has got more get up and go um, than the last model because of the weight reduction. So my thought process was, what can I weigh on this truck and how to do it? So my thought process, let's weigh the tailgate. So the first thing to do to take the tailgate off, which this works exactly the same way on the Colorado and on the previous generation of trucks, is um, you can either undo these bolts right here or these bolts up here. For this demonstration, I'm undoing these bolts up here. Just makes it simpler. Sometimes these don't always want to come out. You have to unhook these right here, and I just don't like to mess with that because it can get unaligned um, and whatnot. So you can see that drop just a little bit and before getting on camera um, I actually went under the vehicle to unhook the wires there's two wires you need to unhook with the generation this generation truck and the previous generation there was only one truck so when you unhook the uh, tailgate it's best to have two people I'm doing it with one person because I've done this quite a bit so you just kind of bring this up right here and you pull this side out I had like so, there we go. And then for this side to come out, you actually go almost up to the closing position and you can pull it straight out just like that. You can see my wires are right here and you're just gonna pull these wires out and you're good to go. That's simple. So let's start with weighing the last generation, the 2018 to 2014 tailgate. We're using the 2018 Crew Cab Silverado tailgate. Let's weigh that and then we'll come and weigh the new 2019 aluminum tailgate. This is our big handy dandy huge scale. And it reads right up here, as you can see, it is point minus 10 pounds off. I'm using this little block right here to protect the tailgate from any scratches or anything like that. And if I put this on there, you can see it does not change the weight at all. So we're point 10 pounds off of this when I put this tailgate on. So let's put this steel 2018 silver oil tailgate on and see how much it weighs. So there it is, it's hovering right around that 54, 55 pound weight. I'm really trying not to put much weight on this and uh, you know, just try not to skew it. So anywhere from 53 to 55 pounds, it's hovering right around that 54 when I'm trying to put, again, very little weight on this, I'm trying not to move it, but let's say 54 pounds for good measure. So as I go over to the door to prop it open so I can go weigh this tailgate, what do you think it weighs? 
throw it in the comments below before I show you here in a second. All right, so as you see, I have removed the aluminum tailgate and already right straight from the get-go of me lifting that thing up, I can definitely tell it's lighter. Now me pushing it up in the last several videos, um, I could tell that it was lighter, but I just wasn't sure if it was torsion bars or whatever the case may be. Also, a side note, I have left all hardware attached. So the safety straps, the wiring harnesses, everything uh, is attached to the tailgate. As you saw earlier, all I did was do undo these two bolts from the truck itself. Yeah, I took off the new <laughs> Here is the truth. 41, 42 pounds. Not holding it real heavy. So I think, I'm gonna go back to the video. I can't remember, did I say 54 last time? So this is only like 12 pounds lighter. So, uh, wow, amazing. So I've showed this in past couple of vlogs. Uh, General Motors, instead of putting a spray in bed liner on here or leaving it raw metal uh, like the previous generations, they put a plastic cover here and this plastic cover I think is in design to allow uh, not to have major dents and dings and punctures like we saw in the toolbox video versus Ford. So they're trying to prevent that from happening. And I think a lot of people are putting uh, the plastic here anyways. So we're just kind of following suit. But I'm wondering what is underneath this? Is this hollow? Is it honeycomb? As you saw previously, we're about 12 pounds different. So uh, let's see what's underneath here and uh, see if there's any surprises. Let's take a look in here. Pretty interesting. So in the 2018 to 14, this is very similar. So they had these holes under that cover that went right here, but they did not have the holes here. Now what's interesting is all these little itty bitty holes. What are they for? So the screws come in here, but there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole. Uh, there's squares here. So why is there squares? It's really interesting. They put the VIN on the tailgate and then this they don't paint. It's obviously taped off to put a sticker on there. So that's interesting that they do that. Uh, don't know the reason for that, but uh, just different holes. You know, this this oval hole here, the circular hole here, uh, not sure what that is. If you wanna see how the mechanism works, so there you go, really sweet, really simple. It's electric motor, so the fail rate should be pretty low being it's electric, um, you know, all that good stuff. So all the wiring comes through here and goes down into that hole that I showed you earlier that I pulled out. So really, really interesting uh, tailgate. And uh, I don't know, 12 pounds, is that a lot? You tell me in the comments below. So as you saw earlier, I was kind of being hanging around this high country uh, 2019 Silverado and this vehicle has the easy up and easy down, power lifted, power assisted down tailgate. So my question was, um, does this weigh more? Well, that was a lot of work and I really don't feel like weighing this one. Um, so what I did is I took this plastic thing off too. So now I've already looked underneath this and so I know exactly what's underneath here. And it's really, really, really interesting. So I had a couple questions in the last part of the video of like, what's this for, what's that for? And now it makes a little bit more sense. So when I remove this, you can see right away that we've got this module here. This is still really interesting. They got that on crooked. Uh, that was really nice and straight on the last one. The VIN number there, this is a little crooked there. But uh, there's a module here and this module is probably telling this what to do. So you can see this is here. And then we don't have any um, electronics or little uh, gears that we had right here. Remember we had these gears right here. Um, there's nothing up there. So this I would assume, but this and this has got to weigh a little bit more, but probably not even a pound. So just kind of a guess, but really, really interesting. So when I push that button, you can see that goes back up and there's nothing being moved or anything. So when I pull this right here, I'm gonna push this button again. Nothing's nothing's moving in there. So it's all internal of that of that plastic motor right here. So this is probably the brains, like I said earlier. That's the motor telling it what to do. So it's kind of interesting to see what these do and what these squares were here for. Um, still don't know what, uh, yeah, so those squares there, we asked, I said something about those. 
you know, really, really interesting stuff. And we're talking about tailgates. I figured I would share with you how the electronic power assisted tailgate actually works. Now there's three ways to operate this tailgate. You can operate it right here. You can operate it from a button inside and you can operate it from the key fob. So I'm gonna show you this part first. If you wanna put this down, simply just push this button. You can see it comes down very nicely, very slowly, very controlled manner. If you wanna put this back up, I think they should've probably came up with a little bit different solution on this, but no big deal, uh, because the way I'm gonna show you to do it in the next two options, uh, it pretty much alleviates this way, I think. So you have to come way up here, hit that button, and up it goes. Now the second way to do this is with the key fob. Simply hit the button twice that's indicated on the key fob and that goes down just like it showed you the first time. To bring it up, push this once, hold it the second time, and up it goes automatically. Very, very nice and very, very slick. On the inside of the vehicle, there's a button right down here with all the other buttons that you're gonna use uh, periodically throughout your ownership experience with the truck. Let me show you those. I'm gonna put the camera on so that you can see it going down. Basically just push this button right here and it's gonna go down. Then we get a little message indicator right there that says tailgate open. Now, if you wanna put this up, all you do is hold this button right here like so and up it goes and the tailgate open indicator goes off of the screen. Well, that's gonna end this vlog. Uh, as you can see, uh, I headed this on a couple different days uh, with my voice doing crazy things, um, but I'm gonna let my voice rest a little bit and uh, cut this vlog a little shorter than what I've done the last couple of vlogs. Um, I appreciate you guys watching those. It's amazing seeing the analytics behind the scenes of how long people watch those really long vlogs. So I really appreciate it. I'm not gonna do that on a normal basis. Um, this one's gonna be just a little over 12 minutes long or right at 12 minutes. So um, I appreciate it. Um, make sure you continue to share my videos. Smash that thumbs up button. If this is the first time that you're viewing my video, uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. Also, uh, in the down in the below, uh, in the description, I have a new link. Uh, if you have an idea of a video that you want to see me do regards to Chevrolet, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and Subaru or used cars, uh, click that link below, fill out the really quick form and tell me what you want to see and I'll put that on the agenda. So I want to say again, thank you so much for being a part of my channel. Uh, we're so close to 100,000, over 76,000 subscribers on the day that I'm shooting this. So thank you so much. I look forward to hitting that 100,000 really, really soon. So again, thank you again for watching. Have a fantastic day and drive safely.